I'm Anil Kumar and here's a trigonometric identity from a test paper, right? So this is a very important trigonometric identity which I am going to solve in this particular video. So let us see how to solve this identity. So we have 1 plus tan x by 2 divided by 1 minus tan x by 2 equals to secant x plus tan x. So what I'm doing in very first step is we'll start with the left side and we'll write tan x by 2 as sine as a ratio of sine over cos. So we can write left side as 1 plus sine x by 2 over cos x by 2 divided by 1 minus sine x by 2 divided by cos x by 2. Correct? Now we'll take common denominator. So we get cos x by 2 plus sine x by 2 divided by cos x by 2. Everything divided by cos x by 2 minus sine x by 2 divided by cos x by 2, right? Now this can be simplified since the their denominators cancel out. Is that okay? So we can write this as cos x by 2 minus sin x by 2 divided by rather plus. In the denominator we have the minus term. Right? So we get as in terms of sine and cosine x by 2. Now we need to get cos I mean secant x plus tan x. How can we do that? Now here we are applying our strategy and we are kind of uh, rationalizing it. See how? So we have cos of x by 2 plus sine of x uh, by 2 divided by cos of x by 2 minus sine of x by 2. So we'll rationalize means we'll multiply by cos of x by 2 plus sine of x by 2 and also divide by the same factor cos of x by 2 plus sine x by 2. So when we do that in the denominator we get a square minus b square. You get my idea. So in the denominator we get cos square x by 2 minus sine square x by 2. However, in the numerator we get a plus b whole square, right? So when you multiply these we get cos square x by 2 plus 2 times cos x by 2 sine x by 2 plus sine square x by 2, right? You can do it in two steps if you want, square it, and you'll get this, correct? Now, cos square x by 2 plus sine square x by 2 is how much? When you add these, you get 1. So you get 1 for that, and 2 sine x cos x, if you remember, is sine 2x, right? So we get sine 2 times x by 2, correct? divided by cos square x by 2 minus sine square x by 2 is cos 2 times x by 2, correct? So we have applied the formulas which are, let me write here, cos 2 theta equals to cos square theta minus sine square theta and sine 2 theta equals to 2 sine theta cos theta, correct? So that is what we have applied and got this result. I hope you appreciate that part, right? Now from here, we can, we can write this as 1 over, this is cos x, correct? So we get 1 over cos x plus, this is sin x, right? 2 to cancel, sin x over cos x, correct? And what is 1 over cos x? It is secant x, perfect. And that one is tan x. So, and that is equals to right side. So in trigonometry identities, we are always trying to prove left side equals to right side. Once we get that, it's done. So hence proved, right? So that's how we can solve this. I'd like you to go through this video and then solve it yourself because there are a lot of places where you could do some error, right? It's a very important question. You should do it and practice. Thank you and all the best.